Prince Philip's views on farming methods have often been challenged throughout his 97 years, but that has not stopped him expressing himself. Royal biographer Karen Dolby reveals in The Wicked Wit of Prince Philip how when the Duke of Edinburgh was interviewed by a farming magazine, he was asked if he thought conservation was too important an issue to be left to conservationists. Prince Philip replied, I would say that farming is too important to be left to farmers. Royal travel, Prince Philip considered for dangerous heresy Prince Philip's royal jibe revealed, you're just a silly twit Royal biographers Phil Dampier and Ashley Walton write in Prince Philip, A Lifetime of Wit and Wisdom, How the Duke of Edinburgh Blasted Views on Farming in Britain. He said in 2011, I'm not green. I'm not a bunny hugger, one who simply loves animals but people are more concerned about how you treat a donkey in Sicily than conservation. The Duke of Edinburgh has publicly challenged the benefits of modern farming techniques too. In ITV's Fly on the Wall documentary The Duke, a portrait of Prince Philip, he argues that there is no absolute certainty that it modern farming is quite as useful as it sounds. He added, you have got to be emotionally committed to it, but if you stand back and be open-minded about it, it is quite difficult to really find where it has been a real benefit. In an interview for Shooting Times in 2009, the prince was even more critical of modern farming practices. He said, they are constantly trying to produce cattle that will produce more milk and less cow, like a hat rack with another attached. They can't really go on making such a travesty of an animal, there must be a limit to this. Even more ridiculous is the fact that milk is actually cheaper than bottled water. It seems quite bizarre to me. At a Diamond Jubilee Garden party at Buckingham Palace in 2012, Prince Philip discussed continental cattle with a farmer. Royal writer Ms. Dolby claims the Duke grinned before commenting on European beef, saying, oh, that awful tasting thing. The Queen's husband has always had a deep interest in the environment and the conservation of nature. Prince Philip became the president of the British World Wildlife Fund in 1961 and the international president of the WWF in 1981, a position he held until 1996. The prince has participated in saving many endangered species including the panda, snow leopard and the black rhino.